thinking, man, how is this guy doing this? Well, I got two cameras. I got one film in one video and one film in another video, and they'll kind of intertwine, but they're two different videos. That's kind of the way my brain operates. I'm a multitasker. I like to have three or four irons in the fire and get it all done as quick as I can and be as efficient as possible. Hey, dang, don't it? That guy's laid back in that Cadillac. That guy's going through the lake. She's nosy. Hey there, it's Pete with GCI Turf. I hope you're having a great day today. And I want to talk about humic acid, in particular, humic 12, the Green County product now. Man, I've been using humic acids for a long time. Uh, I know you've seen those videos where I walk around my yard and I'm probing around with that 33 inch probe with no issues whatsoever. Well, that comes from years of using humic acid. I want to kind of not really dig into the science behind it or any of that kind of thing. You know I'm not that technical about that stuff. But I just want to kind of give you some good general knowledge about the Humic 12 and what it will do for your ground. You know I'm out here at my shop where we're converting this Bermuda over to a high-end Bermuda real mode overseed with ryegrass in the fall. Really make it look sweet out here. I got some landscaping beds and stuff to install. But that's later well i need to start working on my dirt okay because the dirt because the dirt is the problem okay this stuff right here is hard as a brick so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna apply a super heavy dose of humic 12 today now word of warning i don't recommend you do this okay i'm actually filming another video showing how strong this strong sprayer is by running straight humic 12 through the sprayer i'm just taking the opportunity to put it out here on my yard i've also got access to a whole lot of water so i'm going to be able to water it in immediately so i can kind of get the benefits of it so i don't recommend you come out here and try this what i do recommend is what i've been doing on my yard back at my house and that's running the high rate of humic 12 once a month all throughout the growing season meaning when your ground isn't frozen rock hard okay, that's the only time i don't apply humic 12 to my yard on a monthly basis and that's typically in the january february time frame for us here in north carolina the ground can freeze so i just don't do it then so from march all the way around to December, once a month. I know you don't see the videos because I don't have time to video everything I do, but I've been religious at putting out that nine ounce. You hear him? He just kicked it when I'm sorry, Joker. So humic acid has a cool ability to make your nitrogen more efficient. It can also chelate micronutrients. So by chelating the micronutrients that are in the ground or the micronutrients that you apply, what that's going to do is make it to where your plant can better absorb all that. So, you know, we do a soil test and everybody likes that neutral pH. We need a neutral pH so everything will do right and grow right and look right and smell right and taste right. So another good thing about humic acid is it has the ability to aid in buffering the pH of your soil. Not to mention that it adds a great place for microbial activity to populate and live. Now I want to be real clear about something. I just actually got done filming another video about the Strom sprayer and kind of showing it off a little bit and how strong the pump is. So I ran a straight rate in the sprayer. I don't want you to do that. Okay, you understand? I want to be very clear with you that you need to follow the label rates, meaning three to nine ounces per thousand once a month and you're golden. I'm absolutely eat up with it. I'm infatuated with it. I can't get it out of my mind. That I think that's a song in it. I'm telling you, I just love studying dirt and turf to figure out what makes them work together. Now, one thing I can say, I can have all the humic acid in the world right here. 
Matter of fact, I could come out here and dump a hundred gallons on it. But if I don't take that goodness called water and put it in the ground and let the water put it down in the soil where it belongs, none of this does me any good. So I think to start, probably the overarching definition or the overarching uh, greatest asset of using humic acid is it's just an a very very good soil conditioner meaning it touches on so many different things in the ground and it's conditioning the ground and conditioning the dirt to make for a great place for your turf grass to grow in now i know you've seen me a few times in my yard go out there with that soil probe and drive that probe down in the ground well i had a buddy of mine mr blake he owns it's his turf in arkansas he's got a youtube channel uh, i'm gonna link him up in the description i want you to go check him out and he stopped by the house and let me show you what he did so i got my little compaction tester right here blake pick a spot Push. Go on and slam it. Can you do that in Arkansas? There's not a chance. Pick another spot. <laughs> it's funny, I get a lot of kind of weird emails. They, they claim I'm doing camera tricks or something, but you're the right. third person I've had on video come out and do this. Yeah, there's no way this would happen in Arkansas. Humic acid. What's doing it? Humic acid. Really? Yep. Yep. Soil is goodness to the dirt. That is amazing. Yep. Now, one of the absolute most important things that humic acid does is look at this right here. You see this ground right here? It is absolutely rock hard. Hard as a brick. I know you've heard that saying before. Well, over time, using humic acid, it creates all these little microscopic passageways all through your dirt. I want you to imagine taking a very complex spider web, and I want you to take that spider web and put it inside this dirt. And once that spider web creates a bunch of little holes and pathways and tunnels, then I want you to remove the spider web, but leave the tunnels and leave the pathways in there. That allows for oxygen and water to really get down where it needs to be, therefore aerating the ground. So that's a big deal. That's one of the main reasons you see me and I'm able to drive that probe in the ground anywhere in my yard. Now I'm getting ready to go get my water set up, my big sprinkler, and I'm getting ready to put it out here. I'm getting ready to put me about 3,000 gallons of water on this area. I'm going to really work this humic acid in the ground. Another cool benefit of humic acid is it's going to help this ground to retain or hold that moisture. So when you throw all that together, what, it, what are you left with? Well, we're aerating the ground, we're helping the ground to hold water, we're making nutrients more available, we're, we're giving a, providing a place for biological activity, microbes and things to populate and grow. The list just goes on and on and on with humic acid. One of the cool things about the Green County line is pretty much all of their products have a certain amount of humic acid built into the product. But the Humic 12 is like the most concentrated form of that. That's why I use it so often. So hey, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. I appreciate you watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and tell all your buddies. And I'll check you later.